So welcome to Piggy Power. I'm Piggy, and they say it's going to snow. Do I believe them? Yeah. Probably hear it's raining at the moment. But if it does snow, I want to be ready. So, I've got some skis. I'm not very good on skis. So I had a better idea. Well, I haven't got the proper boots anyway. So I got these skis off a of mate. Thanks, Rich. You don't want them anymore. You got them for free. So we're going to rip these things off here because I haven't got the right boots anyway. And I've got a couple of bits of metal I've been kicking around, just done off the really. So what we're going to do? We're going to fashion ourselves some sort of uh, some sort of seat, I think. Something like that. On there. And then we'll make some uh, some brackets for it so we can sit on there without falling through. And then I don't want to cut these for the steering, but they're pretty flexible skis. So we'll see if we can jig something so we can bend the ski so we uh, don't head into a tree, hopefully. And then we might even go a bit mad. I don't know if uh, got a bit of, uh, got a bit of the old wax. Got a bit of wax up. And even if it doesn't snow, just go down a wet field. Oh yeah, and the other bit. And this and a skip. Scooters, remember them back from I think kids are back into them now, but I was into them about 15 years ago. But anyway, I found the skip, obviously, it's no good anymore. But I'm going to weld on some skids onto that because mate's got one who's a big kid and uh, he bought the skids. I ain't got time for that, and I got bits of metal like hacking about, so uh, we'll bolt on some skids to that. We'll have a couple of awesome bits of fun. I've got a really old sled which I'll hopefully show you if it snows tomorrow, back from the 80s probably even before then, 70s even, it looks really nice, but I think this will be really good. So, it's not going to be a scooter, it's going to be a snooter. It's going to be a snow scooter. And it's not going to be skis, and it's not going to be a sledge. It's going to be a sledge. I'm going to invent those two words this weekend. If it snows, who knows. So I might get to work, and I'll come back and see how we get on. Yeah. It's all good. So keep watching. So hopefully that, although not very, very safe at the moment, oh, that will do us just nicely. Um, and the slats, it's a bit lighter than if it was a board as well. So I might put the slats a bit close together because it's not most comfortable right now. And then all I need, I'm hoping we can, uh, this will also help with something to hold on to. One and two, um, help with some rigidity. And there was a third reason. Oh yeah, I also need to sort out some steering, but that can come in time. You can just put some footholds there for now. And I reckon you could probably steer it quite a bit anyway. Awesome! It's going to be mad. Mental, but mad. Ah, and the benefit, we've now got ourselves some skids, which we can use for our snooter. Yeah. So, 
I'm gonna have some dinner. Come back and finish that. <laughs> Mad! to make a sledge. I'm pleased with that. Yeah, that's quite cool. So we didn't manage to get round to the snooter, but if it does snow, maybe we'll have a go at that tomorrow. But I'm well chuffed with that. So thanks for watching. No engine involved. If I did have a spare engine, which I did a few months ago and I logged it out of a strimmer, I would probably have put something on, on there, but um, let's try gravity tomorrow. Let's hope it snows. So, for all those that don't like snow, by making this I've probably stopped it snowing, so I've made you happy. And all those that wanted snow, like me, well I've just done that for nothing. So let's hope for some snow. Thanks for watching, subscribe if you like. Thank you very much. <laughs>